Hi guys, I'm Richard from Artpiece Projects. Welcome. Um, I'm shooting some videos uh, to make up for the classes that we're not able to do at the hospital at the moment and at Flourish Australia. Um, thanks to Flourish Australia for um, supporting this project. Um, so today we'll be going on with uh, doing some blind contour drawing, which um, means you can still see the object, but you're not actually looking at the page. I think this is a very mindful kind of activity that um, brings you to really be aware of the thing that you're looking at and like see it with fresh eyes. So I hope you enjoy this activity. Um, let's get started, I suppose. So um, the first thing is like, when we think about drawing an object, we're thinking about, um, first of all, if I say a leaf, you're going to see a picture in your mind's eye, which is that. So it's pretty much the shape of a leaf that we all would go to draw. The thing is, not all leaves are shaped like that, um, especially if they get a little bit uh, old and crumpled. Like so, you get all different kinds of shapes. Also, if you look at things from a different angle, you get really unique kind of shapes. Like you've never seen that shape before, right? Sorry, it's in so it looks a lot different to that. So the point of today is really just to look at the shapes that's before our eyes and then um, try and draw that. The other thing is, um, even if you've got something that's like that, that's quite typical, um, if you turn it slightly, you'll notice it changes shape entirely. So now it's a line. Now it's kind of like a flatty kind of shape. So if you can squint your eyes, you'll see that shape more clearly like a flat shape. So, um, squint your eyes or blow your eyes a little bit. All right. Um, okay, so I'm just going to pause for a second and get set up. So in this exercise, what we're going to try and do is just try to look only at the object that we're drawing and try to see its own unique shape. And basically, we're just going to try and draw the outline. And the one thing that's different about this exercise is that we're not going to actually look at the page while we're doing it. That's why it's called blind contour. So the main result of that, you'll notice, is that you end up making a fairly rubbish kind of drawing. Um, but what's good about that is that in the process of doing it, you'll be exercising your right brain, which is the part of you that's um, really good at observational drawing, and you'll be surprised at um, how it works. So first of all, we're going to make some fairly rubbish drawings, then I'm going to show you how to use that skill uh, into making a... Uh, um, more satisfying drawing for you uh, that looks like the thing. So this one's just about an exercise about paying attention to uh, the object itself. So I'm going to start by looking at one part of the leaf. On here I'm just looking at say the corner and I'm going to let my eye follow that contour around, 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 around. And what's going to happen is as I'm looking that's exactly what I'm going to be drawing on the paper, just where my eye is. If the line's going across, I'm going to draw across. If it comes down, I'll, I'll draw down in. I'm going to draw in, pops out again in a curve. I'll draw a curve, swoops out again, flicks around and comes back up. That's what I'm going to draw. So that's what my hand's going to do. Um, how much it looks like it on the page is another story because I'm not actually going to be looking at the page to begin with. So uh, usually it doesn't look like it, but you get the essence of the object. All right. So, I'm just going to do this so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, here we go. So, I'm only looking at the leaf. I'm not looking at my page. And I'm just trusting that my hand is following my eye. So, it comes down, swoops down, curves in, swoops down, comes straight. This is straight a little bit. Comes, pops up, and then a little sharp bit, flicks out, down. go slower than this probably or faster it's up to you whatever you feel comfortable with the point is if you can stay focused on exactly where your eye is just looking you're basically staring at the object without ever looking at your page
Alright, so doesn't really look anything like belly, but it never really was going to happen like that. I don't know, it looks like a, a continent of some sort, of, like a map of somewhere, rather than looking too much like belly. But anyway, um, that's the idea of it. It's the, the less it looks like the object, the better, because it means you're, you're just looking at the object. I mean, the less it looks like the general shape. Normally they look like they've been squashed by a truck or something. Um, that's a normal outcome. I'll try some another object, like maybe the shell. Um, so this is just butcher's paper, so it's cheap and it's rubbish, and eventually it goes yellow and deteriorates. So you just you don't worry about it. These things are only temporary, um, and it lets you just concentrate on the moment, just focusing on what you're doing. So I need to stick this on something. I'm gonna stick it on a couple. Okay, so I'm gonna look at that. This is the view from where I am. So you might just want to grab an object and we can do this together. So grab yourself an object, have a look at the different angles and what I'm going to get you to do is basically try to draw it from different angles, the same object several times over. So, But what I want you to do is not, um, not look at your page while you do it. So let's go, we'll do this together. If you want to, like, it's really hard because you can't see your drawing. Um, you might want to have a crack at drawing the inside shapes of the object. So will you overlap or go out or whatever? It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you get the feeling that you're concentrating on the contour. Like I said, rubbish. But anyway, uh, let's just keep on going. So we're going to get the same object, or if you're a bit bored of that, you can get another object. It doesn't have to be natural objects. I found this on the ground. I don't know what that's for, but we'll assume it's something industrial. Um, or a truck or something, maybe. Anyway, it's kind of cool. I don't think you can see it. From there. Alright, so from where I am, it's all a bit flattened. I'm trying to find a nice angle. Um, could just as easily be something else. It could could be a tube of paint. Turn it around. A pair of scissors, whatever. Bulldog clips. It's all good. So let's just keep on going. We're going to do a couple of these exercises. And what we're doing is it's a bit like when um, dancers do those funny movements before they start actually dancing. We're basically warming up. Warming up our right brain, get it nice and warm, following that contour all the way around. Whichever direction the line goes, that's how our hand goes. So we're building a bridge between our hand and our eye. And I've got no idea where my pen is on this picture, but it doesn't really matter. Um, something along the lines of what I saw. So let's just do another couple of these. Um, I tried a bulldog clip. Try and find an interesting angle. You can overlap as well on your paper. This is not going to be a masterpiece anyway. So let's just save trees and we'll recycle the paper. This is just an exercise, just in looking, looking, looking just at the object, not the page. Alright, so there we go. All the way around, comes down, goes up, but a little curve. Sometimes it's helpful to sort of think in that sort of a way. And tell yourself, oh, it comes from there, it's like an eye shape, or maybe it's helpful not to do it, it depends on your own particular brain. Um, so, my bulldog clips in there somewhere. So, maybe we'll have a bit of a 
break from that in a minute. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a variation of this exercise. Um, so in this one, so I've got an assortment of um, objects on the table. I'm going to start out with something that you find re fairly recognizable, just a shell. Um, but you notice again, if I just turn it around different angles, you'll get all different kind of shapes. So here it just looks like a little mound kind of a shape, flat bottom, and then a curved top. This one, pretty much what you'd expect here. Yeah, totally lost. So um, we can try to begin with, um, if I just hold, hold it this way and I'm looking at the object, you'll see I draw the flat bottom, the curve, maybe I draw the shape of the hole, and the other one there. So I've got a bit of a spiral. Don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll use a sharpie. Um, make it a bit. I'm just using butcher's paper, which is um, super cheap because this this exercise is really just an exercise. You know, not going to make a masterpiece doing this. It's just to exercise for drawing. So this is what I drew. Pretty much that shape. I didn't really look at the shell that much, but it looks something like that. Something like that. Um, now if I turn it around, like this direction, or that direction, what shape do you see? Is it like a teardrop shape in some ways? Round on one side and pointy at another? Let's try that. So, I might have to hold it. Round on one side, point yet another, something like that. It's got a bit that pops up in the middle, and then we go something like that. So just by thinking of the basic shape of what it looks like, like a teardrop or a half circle. I can get something, well, let me see if I get that right, the angle right. I can get something that looks a bit like um, what I'm looking at there. Now that's just to sort of show that things can be quite generalized and you'd still get the good impression of what the object looks like. But in this case, um, the next exercise we're going to go into is a little bit different.